we will now call the January 2nd organizational meeting to order the Caribou City Council. First item on the agenda is swearing in the new councillors. And I guess that's Singular. Shane, you and I, and Jody, and does Stephanie have to re swear again? No. No. It's just the middle trifecta. Just the three of us. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want us to come down there, Jane, or do you want to just stand in front and we'll I can stand sit in here? Front if you'd stand up there. That's what I like to simplify this process. Let's see if you can do it as well as the, um, the uh, police. That's how they do it. They do it in unison. Raise your right hand. I, Joey R. Smith, do swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state so long as I shall continue a citizen thereof. So help me God. I do swear that I will faithfully discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as city councillor for three years for the city of Cairo according to the Constitution and laws of the state. So help me God. Spell wrong. They have an eye there, but no big deal. Speech. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Jane. Uh, next item election of the council chair and mayor for the city council for 2015. Do we take nominations? We've taken nominations in the right. past, yeah. Okay. Nominations for the council chair. Mayor Aiken. I nominate Gary Aiken. Is that for mayor or for the same thing, right? You're, you're yeah. Doing, yeah. For council chair. Second. Any other nominations? Last call. Nominations closed for council chair. Are we doing written ballots? Got to. We have to. That's good. We used to have to write them. No. <laughs> no. All right. Well, thank you very much for your confidence you've put in me. I hope I live up to that. Election of the deputy chairperson or deputy mayor for the city council for 2015. I nominate uh, David Martin for deputy chairperson slash de deputy mayor for 2015. Second. David Martin. Any other nominations? Last call. Nominations closed.
Thank you, and I would ask the mayor not to miss too many meetings. <laughs> I have three scheduled already. <laughs> Next item is establish date, time, and location for the regular <coughs> meetings of City Council. We have the list of uh, meeting dates in front of the City Council here tonight. Typically, it's the second and fourth Mondays of the month, with there being only one meeting in February, May, July, August, and se September, and December. Uh, all meetings will be held here at City Council Chambers. Traditionally, the meetings are held at 7 p.m., but Council may choose a different meeting time as they wish. One note, uh, October 13th is a Tuesday due to the Columbus Day holiday the day before. Public forums for the budget will be held October 19th and 20th. We'll plan on October 21st as an additional public forum for the budget if needed. Those will start at 6 p.m. Public hearing for the budget will be held on November 9th. Anyone have a problem with the proposed schedule? Nothing with the proposed schedule. I'm just wondering if uh, anybody has any issues with going to 6 o'clock instead of 7. No. Anybody? I have no problem. 6 would be no? good. 6 would be good. David? My only concern is we often have meetings before their regular meeting, but we can have them after, I guess. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, it would be nice to try it, though. See. Any, uh, any thoughts on how it might affect the public who want to come to the meeting? Public input or anything? I guess. No idea. I'm just trying to think about working schedules and that. I mean... That's the only reason I bring it up, too, is, yeah. is my working schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had, anybody have any problem with At least we start that way and try it, and if it does cause problems, we can always change it back. Yeah. And uh, no one has any problems with the proposed meeting schedule. Again, keep in mind, if we have to, we can call a special meeting. Uh, <coughs> we'll have workshops, whatever. So, But that's suitable for everybody. Do you need a motion? Yes. I move I move to accept the schedule as presented with meetings uh, starting at 6 o'clock. See how that works. Second. Set. Moved by Councillor Martin, seconded by Councillor Smith. As presented with the exception of the time being, being at 6. All those in favor? Unanimous. Authorize the city manager to approve treasurer's warrants for 2015. So moved. Second. Moved by Councilor McDonough, second by Councilor Martin. Uh, to authorize the city manager to approve treasurer's warrants for 2015. All those in favor? Unanimous. Appointment of administrative city officers for 2015. Move this late. Can Excuse me. And I don't have the list in front of me, Austin. Right. So I do. If we can add uh, two positions, uh, it's a little earlier in the year than we normally do, um, but if we can add Jane Farron for Registrar of Voters and Kaylin Hill for Deputy Registrar of Voters, that would be great. I'll uh, rescind my motion. <laughs> Just read the list. i got to add Jane and who else? Kaylin for Registrar of Voters. And who? Kaylin Hill. Hey, okay. <clears throat> Mary, can I move that we move the list of uh, administrative uh, appointments? That would be Wander L. Raymond, City Treasurer, Jane R. Farron, City Clerk, Jane Farron, Register of Voters, Felch & Company, LLC, City Auditor, Wander Raymond, Tax Collector, Jane R. Farron, General Assistance Administrator, Kaylin Hill, Deputy General Assistance Administrator, and Deputy Registrar of Voters. Register of Voters excuse me. Scott Susie, Public Health Officer. Mary Ann Scott, Deputy City Treasurer. Kaylin Hill, Deputy City Clerk. Second. Moved by Councilor McDonough, seconded by Councilor Martin to move the slate of officers as stated. All those in favor? Unanimous. Authorize the collection of property tax before the 2015 commitment date. Skip one. City Did board I? officers. Oh, city board officers, sorry. Appointment of city board officers for 2015. And if I may, we do have uh, one new nomination for the Cary Medical Center uh, directors. The <coughs> spot that list is listed as vacant in the packet, they are requesting, are 
recommending Doug Plord be uh, appointed to the board. Okay. Want me to read each one of these? I don't think it's. I don't think that's necessary. No. Okay. <clears throat> Mary, can I move that we approve the uh, appointment of city board officers to include Doug Plord to the Cary Medical Center directors? Second. Uh, move we accept it as presented with the addition of Doug Plord. <clears throat> yes, I'll correct that. Okay. Thank you. Moved by Councilor McDonough, seconded by Councilor Terrio to. Uh, Move the slate as presented with the uh, with the addition of Doug Plore to Cary Medical Center Board. All those in favor? Unanimous. <clears throat> Authorize the collection of property tax before the 2015 commitment date. <clears throat> so moved. Second. Moved by Councilor McDonough, second by Councilor Martin. All those in favor? Unanimous. And authorizing the city to provide a tax club for 2015. So moved. Second. Moved by Councilor McDonough, seconded by Councilor Smith to <coughs> authorize the city to provide the tax club for 2015. All those in favor? Unanimous. <coughs> I guess that's it from our regular agenda. Anything else that we got to add? Yeah, regular council meeting January 12th now at 6 p.m. And regular council meeting January 26th at 6 p.m. Yeah. All right. We have a couple of executive sessions. Can we get a motion to go into executive session? Mary, can I move we go into executive session pursuant to 1 MRSA 456C <coughs> to discuss economic development? Second. Moved by Councilor McDonough, seconded by Councilor Terrio to go into executive session. All in favor? We're going into executive session.